Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, congratulations to Baylor who whacked my Bulldogs from Gonzaga. Oh well, you can't win them all. How about this? Major League Baseball is decided to take the All-Star Game, which was in Atlanta, 51% black, and they're moving it to Colorado, which is like in Denver, where the Rockies play, where it's like 71% white. Hmm. That's a nice look, isn't it? Boy, they just keep digging a bigger, bigger, bigger hole, don't they? It's kind of comical. The Texas Rangers. The Texas Rangers are playing to a full house. However, Governor Abbott, I like this guy. Governor Abbott says he's not throwing out the first pitch because he's not going to do that for Major League Baseball. And a buddy of mine who was the biggest baseball fan that I know that will not watch a game anymore made an interesting observation. It's going to be interesting to see how full these stadiums are when all the stadiums come back to 100% capacity. Because as somebody remarked, Major League Baseball all of a sudden has become just a blue sport. Folks, I follow sports. Who do you think are the biggest NBA, pro football, pro baseball fans? Do you think that they're conservative white guys, black, conservative black people who don't care about politics? You're damn right they are. The majority of them aren't a bunch of liberals. Sports is a man's man's game. It just is percentage wise. So they're really screwing the pooch, but that's their prerogative. Meanwhile, Major League Baseball keeps wanting to expand just like the NBA in China. China, China, China. Money, money, money. It's off the charts. Meanwhile, CBS, which did this, CBS actually put out a little list of all the things to do to protest Georgia election laws. I mean, they jumped right in. They've decided, though, they're going to go ahead and broadcast the Masters at Augusta. Guess what? The Masters isn't the Masters unless it's Augusta. So the Masters isn't getting moved, and CBS will gladly broadcast that show. You know, it's an often used word that I use in phrase, and I use so many phrases too much, like you can't believe this, this is incredible. Another one is, the hypocrisy knows no bounds. But it's the truth. Homeless shelters on L.A. beaches. A city council person on Los Angeles believes that the beaches in L.A. is the place to go for homeless shelters. Who elects these people? Who, where do these people come from? Can you imagine that? Let's take a tourist and beautiful asset and let's use that for our homeless shelters. Party on the beach! <laughs> uh, L.A. teachers, speaking of L.A., L.A. teachers don't want to go back to work unless they get free uh, child care. They don't want to go back. Free child care. You know, at Dieter's Law yesterday, everybody in the office said they don't want to come back to work unless they get free gas. We said no. Everybody showed up at work today. Uh, 72% of Americans, this is comforting to me, 72% of Americans believe that this immigration issue is a direct threat to the United States. I still always say, who the hell are these 38%? But at least we got two-thirds of the country waking up to the problem that it's causing. And it's so sad, so sad. The crime that's going to come from this, the drug cartels licking their chops. And guess what's come out? Apparently, Facebook is being used by the child traffickers to like where to meet, where to hook up at the border, so forth and so on. I didn't go onto Facebook and check this out and search and see, but apparently it's a big problem. Facebook won't shut down that, I bet, but they'll shut down our memes. Uh, Biden, his uh, disapproval rating is up to 51%. Wow. Just imagine that. How the press just doesn't hit him at all. Including, I mean, can you imagine if Trump said, Pence is going to be my guy on the border, and two weeks go by and you don't hear from him? see him, he doesn't go to the border, he doesn't do anything. Can you imagine what the media would do? Good old Kamala's just somewhere laughing, 
chuckling <laughs> like she does. Uh, bad news for Biden's big plan. Manchin has said, nah, baby, nah, to the corporate tax hikes. He looks at this, surveys it, and says no. You know, Manchin drives me crazy because what he does vote for so many times. But you know what? At least we got Manchin right now holding the line. Let's hope he doesn't fall apart. Soros, speaking of the Biden plan, Soros is spending $20 million to help push the Biden plan. Isn't that just remarkable? You know this McCain-Feingold bill? Remember that phrase, the McCain-Feingold bill? Was supposed to take money out of elections. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, 60 Minutes, 60 Minutes edited falsely, good old CBS again, the Santos, the whole story about his COVID, handling of the COVID situation. And a Florida Democratic mayor's even called him out on it. Does CBS apologize? No. CBS, just think, it was once Walter Cronkite's network. Murkowski allegedly is down 10 points, double digits, already in the Republican primary in Alaska. That's great news. Wouldn't it be great just to get rid of Murkowski? Oh, my God. Let's hope there's some good primary opponents for Mitt Romney in Utah. Uh, child, no mask on a plane. We have now come to this place on this COVID. A parent was kicked off a plane with a child who would not wear a mask, didn't wear a mask. Really? A child not wearing a mask gets you kicked off a plane. Must have been a, that plane must have been going to San Francisco. Uh, Mohammed Anwar, this is the Uber guy that was killed by a couple black teenagers killed looks like a plea deal no jail time and they won't serve anything past 21. do you think that they were going to try them as an adult no you think has there been any uproar about this my god it wasn't even a regular white guy it was a muslim sounding name two black people killed him any uproar no 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 George Floyd's life is the only one that matters. Only George Floyd. Anybody else dies, it doesn't matter. Only George Floyd. Sarcasm. Uh, feds to force companies to report pay by race and gender. That's coming now. Can you imagine what the federal government is going to rock? Of course, all these big, large corporations won't mind doing it at all because the corporate Communi the Communist 10, with corporate gangsters are all part of it, won't mind doing that for their partners in the federal government. Think about that. All these woke companies, they won't mind doing it. Uh, two more turns for Putin. you got to laugh at Putin. I mean, let's face it, he's a killer, he's a mobster, you know, he's a tyrant, all those things. But, but you have to laugh at some of this stuff. Putin declared himself that he can be president for two more terms. <laughs> you just declare it. <laughs> Good old Putin. He allegedly was voted for himself. He declared also that he's the sexiest man alive in Russia. Now, see, isn't that funny they compared Trump to Putin? Trump didn't do any of this kind of stuff. Putin, man, he gets away with it. Uh, Black Lives Matter, back in the news, you know what? Of course, they're never, they never leave the news. They're saying, the leaders of Black Lives Matter say they're going to burn down every city if Derek Chauvin is not convicted in the murder of George Floyd. See how they roll? Now, if I say, do we have to burn down the Hamilton County Courthouse to get attention for Durati victims, boy, everybody swings into action. Is anybody swinging into action against Black Lives Matter for saying that? Hell no. We got to get that. You know, it's so funny. The fix is in. I mean, you got police chiefs. Everybody in the department testifying against those cops. I mean, it's over with. Derek Chauvin is going to be convicted, period. He's got no chance of being found innocent. Uh, I didn't cover this yesterday, and I can't believe I didn't. Evergreen trees. There's a school up in uh, Oregon that does not want evergreen trees to be part of their mascot because a tree was used to hang blacks once upon a time, so we don't want to have a tree as a mascot. Evergreen 
is white supremacy, wokeism. Evergreen trees are racist now. It's not even a white tree. It doesn't even have like white bark like the birch tree. I can understand why they'd go up to the birch tree. It has white bark. But an evergreen tree? I don't see any white on it at all. Uh, the FBI. There was an article, I think it was in Epic News maybe, an article about how the FBI has basically decided we're going to be on the side of the Democrats. Boy, does that shock you? Because we know the federal swamp is part of the American Communist 10, as I've labeled them. It really is amazing, isn't it? They go after Republic. Does anybody think Hunter Biden's going to be prosecuted for anything? Are you kidding me? You think Hunter Biden would go out there and say all the things that he did if he was worried about it? You, he doesn't have a chance of being prosecuted. I mean, the facts are the facts, but it doesn't make any difference. And last but not least, J.D. Vance looks like maybe the front runner for the Republican Party if he jumps into this U.S. Senate seat in Ohio. He, of course, is the author of the Hillbilly Elegy. And uh, I saw the movie. It was okay. Decent story. I actually, I want to tell you, I tried to read the book, and I was like, eh, I couldn't really read it. It didn't do anything for me. But uh, it looks like he might be the front runner. I can tell you right now, Jane Temkin, she will say and do anything to try to get the Trump supporters, and I hope it doesn't work because she is just like the rest of the establishment Republicans, followed by DeWine, Yost, and company. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope today is yours.